I will warn you before I start, I'm not going to alienate anyone here tonight. You know, I'm not, not racist, I'm not prejudiced, I'm not homophobic. Well, I guess I'm homophobic in the same sense that I'm arachnophobic. I'm not scared of spiders, I'm not scared of gays. Though I would probably scream if I saw one in my bath. <laughs> I'm Jack Whitehall and this is Big Brother's Big Mouth. Uh, with us tonight, we have two fantastic guests. Chefs, they're all about sex. Rex is obsessed by it. Nigella Lawson makes middle-aged men remember it. Anthony Worrell Thompson puts people off it. When this lady was on TV, it was the first time I ever thought about it. It's the wonderful Rusty Lee. Yeah! That's so unfair. I promise you, Darnell, no one thinks of you as the albino singer. We just think of you as the albino. <laughs> He also made a somewhat harrowing claim about Lisa and Sarah. Let's see that. My big brother is a gift wrapped in love from the public right there. Like, they're going to be loved to death. Loved to death? What are they planning? <laughs> Money can't buy you love, Darnell. Although, if you go into Soho on a Saturday night, it can buy you a pretty good approximation. Best way to get a partner to lose weight. I just tell her, I'd say, you know, life with me, baby, it's like a roller coaster. It's got a weight restriction. But <laughs> I say during sex, just as she's reversing onto you, just go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Worst idea of all time. Is it uh, hitting a child at 30 miles per hour? Advert said I was allowed to. <laughs> When was the last time you had sex then? With that woman. Go on. That woman. In Prague. Best sex I've ever had. Oh, was it now? Yeah. Did everything. Bit the odd. Oh, oh, oh. Bit the odd. <coughs> Bit the old. Ooh. Uh. Bit the old. <coughs> Hang on, sorry, wait. Rewind. Rewind back to that last one. What, the old? No, 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 the one uh, before that. <coughs> After that, in between. Yeah, what, sorry, what's going on there? What are you. Are you teaching her the piano? What no. are you doing? No. Very simple. That, there, that's a vagina. Yeah. That. that that's her mouth. Just, uh, just up and down. Jack, she's quite small. She was. She was quite small, right? Anything wrong with that? She was just small, right? Just little. Little girl. A little girl? No, not a little girl. A little woman. She was dwarf. She was like, she was like 40. She was somewhere in between, I don't know, dwarf and... Kylie. All these government incentives, they're never thought through. They brought out one for healthy eating, trying to wheel children away from fatty snack food and in doing so improve their diet. I guess this goes further to enforce the piece of advice, if a strange man offers you sweets, you should never take them. But if he's got couscous... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to stay in the car. What do you mean? Why? <sighs> it... It would, it would just feel weird without Emma. Oh, mate, come on. We're, a, we're young. We're in our prime. Look at us. Look at you. All right, there's not a mirror there, but it's a figure of speech. Look at you with your hair and your... and, and this shirt. Look, look, look at this. It's a beautiful little face. What girl's not going to want to sit on this face? The state of the environment is a major issue at the moment. It concerns me, but it gets on my next guest tit end. So let's welcome Jack Whitehall. <laughs> Jack Whitehall. So you're you're obviously bothered about the old environment situation. Oh yeah, yeah completely. So what have you what have you been doing about? Well, it? I've been putting Britain on trial for the environment. I mean. I guess probably be, should have been putting like China on trial, but they're not really big into trials and evidence and justice and boring <laughs> shit like that. Um, they have been behaving quite well so far during the Olympics. There was only one slight glitch when a heavily armed unit of the Chinese police paid a little late night visit to the Olympic Village to have a chat with some of the Tibetan squad. So unfortunately they won't be competing in this year's tournament. Uh, but look at the plus side, their Paralympic team for 2010 is now looking very strong. <laughs> So, so we're going to watch. 
Do you, was that, do you think it was a mistake? Any war is a mistake, really. I don't think Are they person. real? Sorry? Are they real? Your opinions on Iraq. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to write down on this card, hypothetically, the most extreme thing you think that you would you you would do to attain a million pounds. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna do for a million pounds. I'm gonna sleep with a fat girl. I don't <laughs> want to do it. A million pounds I will. What have we got? What are our limits? Swim the British Channel to France in one go with no training. So that's essentially suicide. <laughs> it's, it's not that big a problem, is it? Doing anything for a million pounds. Would you kill for a million pounds? Yeah. And the culmination of all of this, of course, is those ridiculous government adverts that they have. They're all the same, you know, They're ridiculous government adverts. They're always very aggressive adverts, but it's always for very menial crimes. You know, it's always for, like, TV licence or video piracy is a crime you could end up in jail. That's not a proper crime. You know, you're telling me that if I go down to my local prison, I'll overhear conversations in jail cells between cellmates getting to know each other. So, what are you in here for? I murdered my family in their sleep, smothering to death my own parents with my bare hands. What about you? I recorded the Harry Potter film on my Sony Ericsson. <laughs> oh, bugger. Tony Blair's in reception. I thought he was in the Middle East. You remember? When he resigned a year ago, we signed him up to work here one day a week. Oh, Christ, on a bike. Well, he's here now. Hi, everyone. This is Tony Blair. Hi. It's Andrew Whiting, our head of futures. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and uh, one blueberry muffin. Oh, thank you. Right, I want a skinny cap. That's, uh, that's full milk. OK. Uh, where's my fruit corner? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. And Gillian, could you take Tony down one floor, introduce him to Rachel, she can give him some photocopying or something like that. <laughs> Come on. Compared to the, the, the commission to last year, it's mm -hmm. a huge thing. decrease of what this is representative of. Were you born in a barn, Tony? <laughs> No, it seems the more aggressive the advert, the more menial the crime. You know, you turn it on, it's like, look at you, you're pathetic, you're worse than a fucking pedophile, I hate you, everybody hates you, I hope you get cholera. It's a criminal offence, you could end up in jail with a maximum prison sentence of 25 years, and all your family and loved ones hate you and wish you suffered degenerate disease. Do, don't fish without a rod licence. 